One of the very strong points of Synchronizer is its capability to compare databases. In this tutorial, I will lead you step by step through how that works. I have opened already two workbooks and both have a worksheet that is a database. Both worksheet names are identical, so Synchronizer has matched them already automatically. As the first step, we need to select how we want to compare the two worksheets. Click on this drop down and you have the option to compare as a worksheet or as a database. Now sometimes it may be a little bit difficult to decide is a worksheet a normal worksheet or is it a database. Here are a couple points. A database is a fixed structure. It consists of a header and the header defines what is the content of each of the columns. In this case Column B is always the customer name, column C is always the city, and so on. The rows are called records. Each of the rows must follow the structure that has been defined by the header. That means in this cell it must be the customer name, in this cell the city, and so on. Usually a database has a primary key that identifies one single record. In our example, it is the customer ID that defines this record belongs to this ID. That's in short a database. I strongly recommend whenever you have a database, compare it as a database. Click here and the window to do the basic setting for database comparison is opened. Next we need to decide what is our primary key. Click on this drop down menu and it shows you all the fields from the header. In our example the customer ID is our primary key. Click on customer ID and click on the plus. Now the customer ID is defined as being our primary key. And finally, we need to check the header row. It is now defined as being on row number 1. Cross check it and yes, it is on row number 1. There are some additional settings which will be covered in a separate tutorial. So for now, let's go with the basic database setting. Click on the start icon to start the comparison. And here are our results. Let me explain you briefly how the interface is structured. On the right side you have the two worksheets and all the differences are highlighted. From the two worksheets the left one is called the source worksheet and the right one is called the target worksheet. On the left side you have the main navigation, on top of it the summary of the comparison and below the detail differences. Up here it shows you the name of the source worksheet and the database icon indicates that these two worksheets have been compared as a database. The icons here are the types of differences that Synchronizer has found in this comparison. Starting with inserted columns, duplicated records, duplicated keys, inserted rows, and differences in entered values and formulas, as well as differences in calculated values. To start working on a difference, simply click on the difference number and it shows you here the detail. Up here you find the options how to update the two worksheets. You can either move the telephone number from the target worksheet to the source worksheet. You can move all the inserted columns from the target to the source. You can delete the inserted column or you can delete all the inserted columns. In our example, let's move the telephone number from the target worksheet to the source worksheet. So we click on this icon and it is transferred as simple as that with one single click. 
Once it is updated, the differences are shown in green, reading that now the source worksheet has in column F an updated column, which is the telephone number. Let's go to the next. Click on the number of differences and it shows you here the number of duplicated records. Click on the difference and as you can see this record is duplicated, has also the same customer ID. Also here we have the options to either delete all the duplicated records to delete only the selected one and the same on the target worksheet we can delete all the duplicated records or just the selected records. So in our example click on the difference, delete it, click on the difference and delete it. If something is deleted it is shown in red. We have no duplicated keys anymore and we have only inserted rows. Also here, click on the difference. Here are the options. Select the difference and click. That's it, how to compare a database. Thank you for watching.